of lamps. It's either combinators uh, going up. I set the limit to 4k for lamps and combinators. So we already have 2k, 2.2k each. Um, this, uh, this is the memory cell, right? Um, so it's three decided combinators and three arithmetic combinators. And um, I copied that over here. And this is now how it should look in the memory um, without the displays, obviously. Um, so uh, I also already have the internal signals set here. Um, written them down. So, um, uh, they work as like before, except this one. Um, this one was the decider combinator that uh, sets the whole signal, which is two now. So it's a um, like flag that means it's zero or one, um, meaning that. Uh, this one should keep the signal. See, it outputs two, and this will then multiply the stored value uh, by that. Uh, but it will take it from the input count now. Uh, here, it just set it to one, and this way, if we give it an uh, that's here in the input signal as one, it will hold the values. But now I can reset all the memory. Uh, let's actually set this value um, and then I'm gonna set another value let's say 13 to address 24 and you will notice something different right uh, now. Um, yeah those addresses are um, so this is uh, basically this is the address of that memory cell, right? Um, and it comes from here, 16. So I just started with 16. It's just as an example. So zero doesn't work. Um, I think zero doesn't work. Um, Uh, but uh, anyway, we don't need address zero. Um, and this, the address is then on this screen cable here, that's highlighted. And this will add four, and four because we store four bytes in each cell. But that's fine, uh, because usually we only read um, a line to 32 bits. At least that's how I will operate this memory. And a lot of addresses in MIPS are also aligned to that. For example, the instructions have to be aligned to that. Um, so we, we have written that in here. Um, let's say we want to write 37 to address 28 then. Um, pulse that and it's written. And now with this, this is basically as long as it's on, the memory is on. But if I turn it off, it erases the whole memory and that is without any additional logic in here which is pretty cool um, so this sets the address of that whole row if I hover over here and you have to look over here on the right um, so 4 is the address of a memory cell right so you can see it's 16 here because it gets it from this constant combinator but this thing then will add 4 and we'll chain to the next one. So this will have address 20, 24, 28. Um, yeah. So I can just uh, copy this and chain it. In my encode computer, the address well, you see we're hard-coded and I just generated blueprints with a program. That's possible too, but it's uh, not that nice, especially if the blueprint becomes 
very large. And then it was a lot of work to get the connections in the blueprints right, stuff like that. Um, so this works without an external tool, which is cool. We will use an external tool and I already have written it to compile a MIPS assembly program into binary, like into the raw bytes. And then it will put that into a into constant combinators in a certain format so that we can convert programs into blueprints. And then we need a memory loader um, similar to the one in, well, I think exactly like the one in my encode computer. Okay, so we have this. Um, let's try to get, I have, Somewhere I've written down the addresses that we need. Yeah. Okay, I have them in hexadecimal and in decimal. We can only enter decimal in factorial. But for, for example, if I want this memory part here to be the first four words of my text segment, I would set it to uh, 419,000, no, it's not thousand, it's million actually. Um, yeah, 4304. That's the uh, hex, hex, that's hex 40, uh, 400,000. That's where, um, at least in the MIP simulator I use, uh, which I also use to uh, assemble a program into data. That's where the text segment is. So, but um, for testing, we will have 16 here. Okay, so let's build the memory then. Uh, I will just copy this. And I thought I will place the memory down here. We have this coal belt here, unfortunately. Okay, let, let's maybe try to get this down here. Uh, maybe RoboPorts. Okay. Well, maybe connect it up there as well. So let's disable my bots, clear this area. So south of this power line, I will, we could also move this power line really. But anyway, it doesn't matter too much. Um, so well, let's go a little bit further and then have it's like so. Okay, and now we take uh, the memory from, ah, it's so dark here. I'm Oh, okay, with um, the segments, uh, with the Nixie tubes, I can't rotate it because I want to have it rotate. I want to have it grow uh, south. So we will start here and I'll move this as soon as they place it. Um, I just copied that so I know where the input is really uh, or how I have to connect. Well, basically it's easy. Um, I can, we have a look here. Uh, the only input you need is, oh, I forgot to have the outputs connected though. And <laughs> that's important. Otherwise you can't read anything. Um, so uh, how this memory works, I showed this here. Um, 
you have the output on here. So, um, this would be this line here. Okay, let's copy this and put it down there. Okay, like so. Yeah, like so. So, um, I am just connecting this up here so I can see the signals. Um, you can see, well, I can see the output signals of those combinators, but if I hover over a power pole or substation, I will see all the signals that are hooked up, uh, that, that are on that, on the cables connected to the, to that. And we can fit, so this is four by four, so we can, fit four words or 16 bytes in here. Uh, let's keep it at a word. So it's four 30 bit, uh, 32 bit words. Um, and we need for one f whole page, which is four kilobytes. So that's 1024 words. Um, so we need 256. Uh, I was wondering how that aligns chunk wise. Well, I, I don't think it matters too much. <clears throat> Does it maybe? That would be fine. I think chunks are 32 by 32, so. Okay, we can use speaker dolly to maybe move this out of the way. a little bit further and this is, uh, belongs to this memory bank let's say um, I can now copy this and it should work um, maybe we'll have a couple of Nixie tubes here Okay, let's maybe not have this part. So we only have five digits. So this is, yeah. So this is then since this is address 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. So let's try to write it. Uh, first I will, okay, may maybe. Why? Oh, those are not set to uh, three. Uh, I think they will, it works, it's just those displays don't like it if you, um, yeah, if you don't have a value in them. Uh, 16, 20, see, and I can reset it. Uh, yeah, so they just basically this thing entity has to update for those to update and display it correctly. Okay, so we already have five words now. Uh, 
plus six, seven, eight. Oh, I believe I did something wrong. Yeah. Um, let me just copy that. And then it's for free. The uh, wires in blueprints are free. So whenever you can use blueprints. I mean, wires are not that expensive. So I think I'll have um, 256 words here and then 256 words here, here and here. Three this red wire here which is the output okay I see where it connects that's also a good idea to just move it around 
connects here. So that's basically W and I what's on there. No. Again, here, here, here. This is connected. I only want this cross connection once. That's why I copied that. Because now we can just. Copy this. So, yeah, so since it's red, if it's not correctly aligned, you can't place it. But that means. I can just drag it. So the first <laughs> eight words have a display. And to do the to sixteen plus one digit um um no thirty one. Calculating the length that's eleven with um, ten ten digits uh, plus one for the sign. Although I wanted hex, and that's possible somehow. I know that. Hex it would be eight digits. Um, I believe let's try it. That's the hex value. Let's try something negative. Oh, nice. Okay. That's what I want.
test it. Pretend we have. Uh, 96 would be. Yeah. Again, this doesn't care. Yeah, so. That it's connected here. Unfortunately, can't walk through it. Test it. Want it with the hex. It, um, we can hook this. That's four. I think it has to be harder, actually. It's only sixty four. Oh, 
Oh, this still needs to be larger then. I think I'll let this build and check later. Um, so yeah, currently we're at 568 and 1023 because that's then the last thing. Um, So let's do this. So this is on four. Okay, actually, it's a little bit too. So that's four. That's all we need to remove. Um, twenty bytes. So that's five sets. Three, four, five. 
Um, shouldn't it be one less? Yeah. It's 1,020 actually. Okay, so this is then what? And this should be 2048, the next, where the next one starts. Just checking everything. Yep. Cool. That's the memory. Say cable missing. Okay. So if we said Where does two come from? Here. So I want to write that to new address three four five six. I'm not sure if that's. Yeah, that's aligned. Some issue with address zero. It's not supposed to be uh, set to address zero, this thing here, but. I think I forgot the read signal.
What is the screen input for? Ah, oh, god damn it. Not a um let's use the colors. Uh three, four, five, six we had, right? Okay, well it's not connected. So this connects over here, down here. That's gonna take a while. I didn't want to have those extra connections. Mm. It's gonna be super annoying. that Okay. So this will connect to all those now has to connect to this one this one to this one this one to this one this one to this one also to those once they're built
Okay, so this one. This one. Okay, this should work. This can go. Just need this for the overlap. That looks better. I wanted to check, right? This should highlight all those lines. This should highlight all those, yes. This one and this one. This input wire. But there are actually two separate ones. It's hard to see, but I think it's correct. Oh yeah, it worked. We wrote... Uh, let's write... That to another address. Um, 60. And we can also um, select it here, and we get the second value right. Nice. So it works. <laughs> so enable. Uh, writing and reading. Yeah, this has a secondary power line. 
be another there will be three memory thingies here and um, when those those are green right yeah to be one Gunson Combinator, maybe, which is maybe O for offset. Um, <clears throat> uh, then I'll have arithmetic combinators here. goes onto the right thingies so now ah, whatever and this has to go on to four I believe yeah on to signal four and then this is hooked up here So basically, it's this. <laughs> Except the inputs are and this is plus. Zero of O. This plus twenty four. Forty eight. That one we forgot. Three oh seven two. So we can, okay, and then this looks into here. And we can, for example, map it to um, to the like 4K. 
And no, the address doesn't match anymore. If I do this... Why does it have a value stored in there? Shouldn't that... Oh. Why is it not writing anything? Ah, because... The cable is missing. This will always write, yeah, okay, yeah. Um, uh, if, if we have offset zero. Zero is kind of weird address, okay? Okay, so I guess um, next time we will start with, so we need, I guess we need like one red line in or one, one line for the input, which is on here. Uh, actually, I don't want to do this. Yeah, so I guess we'll have some memory logic here. Um, let's do this next episode.